Guys, in previous video we learned uh, what is the taxonomy, category, tax, uh, custom taxonomy term, uh, and we also learned how to create a custom post type. In this video, we're going to learn uh, how to create a custom taxonomy for your custom post type. So as you can see, this is our custom post type that we created in the previous video, which is uh, product, and you have all product, add new, and just below this, like you have in the post, you have category and tax. Similarly, we can create our own custom taxonomy uh, for our product. Okay. So um, what we can do is basically, we can similarly go on wphasty.com on this particular link. I'll leave the link in the description video so you don't have to worry. Okay. And let's say I want to create um, a taxonomy, let's say um, shirt, okay. So I will create shirt, which is a singular name. Plural name will be shirts and description will be types of shirts. And text domain obviously will be the text domain of your theme. Um, I'm using a plugin, uh, uh, so I'm going to use the plugin uh, text domain. Okay. Do you want to keep it hierarchical? Yes, I want to have it. Um, make sure I have the children for them. Let's say I have the uh, inside shirt. I may have casual or formal, so I'll put that as hierarchical. Okay, and um, all of that, I'll go and select them. Show in the admin column. No, I don't. Want Okay, let's say yes. Okay, so these are the things that I've selected over here show in tag cloud, show in menu, show in nav menu, and um, link to post types. So, this is important, guys. Uh, I need to mention the post type, I will be putting that too. Okay, so remember on the previous video, we created a post type, a custom post type, and the name of the custom post type was product, which was basically this. Okay, so uh, this is the product is the post type that we created um, if you hover over it just try to look at the bottom at this over here so when I hover over it you can see that it says post type is equal to product right over here see see that pop up localhost 888 and then at the end you have post type product so that's the post type so I want to link it to the post type and which is why I'm going to mention product over here because so which means that it's going to go ahead and create this custom taxonomy into the product post type okay so I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste that into my custom functions .php, which I which we created in the previous video okay so basically what's going on over here is that like you had the register post type to uh, register the custom post type and then hook your custom function to add in it uh, sorry in it hook similarly you have register taxonomy to register a custom taxonomy and then you put the name of the um, name of the taxonomy which is shirt and then you are putting the custom post type name which is product which is the same name as this which you have registered over there uh, custom post type okay and then we're passing the arguments uh, as well okay you can also pass multiple post type to create the taxonomy for multiple post types you can pass a different post type in case if you have created one over here so if you have uh, multiple post type like uh, besides product if you have some other post types that you want to uh, attach this particular category to uh, then you can pass them here too okay uh, so for example if I go ahead and pass uh, post And if I refresh the page, sure enough, you can see inside of product you have shirt, category, and over here as well I have shirt. So inside of the post type post, which is your default um, post type of WordPress, you, we have shirt uh, category and sim similarly shirt uh, taxonomy. And similarly in product, uh, which is a custom post type, we also have shirt. So we don't want to do that. This was just for demonstration purposes. Just shown that to you. We'll save it. Okay. So I'm hooking my custom function which is create shirt tax uh, into the init hook as well and um, we're passing the arguments we just got different things available like label which has this singular name and all items parent item edit item update item all of this information 
and then you have show UI in menu and all of that information. Okay, so uh, now if you check, if you go over the shirt, you can clearly see you've got the taxonomy, custom taxonomy name shirt, says add new shirt, slug and everything, you've got a parent uh, child relationship as well, and then you can create a new taxonomy um, you know, term over here as well. And similarly, in the post also, you have categories, which has got a similar layout as well. Okay, so you've created a new post type, which is for your product, and then you've created a new taxonomy, which is shirt. Okay, now, so let's create a couple more tex custom taxonomies, because, you know, uh, if you want to create a filter and filter those products based on the taxonomies that we have, then we must create at least two or three of them. So let's go ahead and uh, create more. So all I have to do is go back onto the wphc.com and um, just change this to, um, let's say, T-shirts. I'll put that as T-shirts. It's a singular name, so I'll put that as T-shirt. I think, yeah, that's fine. So types of t-shirts and rest everything will keep it the same. We'll copy it. We'll paste it here just below this. Okay. All right. You can always, uh, you know, copy this whole set of function from here. And just paste it in one function also. That is also possible. You don't really have to create a new function for each of these. So I can do that. I'll have to write added in action repeatedly. So I can just create another one inside of the custom function. And it will still do the same work. So I've created one custom function. And inside of that, I have the register taxonomy for shirt. And I have register taxonomy for t-shirt as well. And I've just gone ahead and uh, let's say... I'll say create product taxonomy instead of shirt because I will have multiple registration of the custom taxonomy inside of the same function. So product tax. So create product tax, and that's the one we have over here. If you go back, sure enough, we should have another taxonomy over here. Just notice, pay attention over here. Refresh the page. Sure enough, you've got the t-shirt. Uh, taxonomy as well okay cool that sounds good so I have this hierarchical as well now let's say I want to have a non hierarchical I want to have something that's non hierarchical I don't want to have any children and parent relationship for that so all you have to do for that let's say um, I create something with the color okay so all I have to do is just put color And I'll put colors. Sorry, yeah, colors. I'll put color description. Okay, and I'll say hierarchical is equal to no. Okay. I'll click and copy. In fact, I don't want all of that. I just want this set of code right here. So this time I want a non-hierarchical taxonomy. Okay, so I pasted that inside of our custom function, which is create product tax. Okay, so this time we're gonna have. If you refresh the page, we will have another taxonomy color, but this time we won't have parent. So if you notice in T-shirt, you have parent. In shirt, you have parent because you've set the uh, hierarchy to yes in the other ones but in this one color it's because you have set the hierarchy uh, to no it doesn't have any parent child relationship and you've guessed it right which is why it comes into uh, a section of a uh, tag so it can it, it is called a tag because it doesn't have a parent okay cool so in the next video we'll discuss further as to you know what we do next uh, so i hope you liked it so far and we can continue from the left in the next video see you guys